at some bus depot in Silver Spring. That looks like it's open. Over there is the metro. Excuse me, don't leave without me. Up here's Kiss and Ride. This place was took seven by seven years to be built. He has kept using faulty concrete. But now it's safe. These are your fixtures. There's your certificate. I guess we'll take one more round trip. This reminds me a lot of a Silver Line station. There's a lot of space in between floors. You can look, in, you can look through the window and you can see the um, pickup rollers. I think these are code A. Level 1M. That sounds absolutely horrible. See right there is the call button. These panels are flat to the wall. As you can see over there is the other bank of elevators. They only have one elevator on that side. This side has two elevators. See here's a better view of the kiss and ride. Alright, and oh yeah. Probably yeah, I was right. GAL interlock. They actually have two GAL interlocks. Just a basic elevator, transit system style. You can see there's the, you can barely see the metro sign for the metro station. These are very big too, look how big it is. There's the elevator doors, you can see they have panels on both sides. I think these are monitor, but I cannot confirm that. They could be PTL or even innovation, I have no idea. But I have doubts at their innovation. I think these are Kone's, but I'm not too sure. I'll have to ask somebody about that. But as you can see, the signage is very similar to the Silver Line. This place was built by Montgomery County Bus Division, I think, without Metro's consent, you know, so they can't build it over there. And there it goes. And then Metro actually bought it at one point. I assume they fixed it. Alright, I suppose that will be about it. I love that clock.